Welcome Scorpios to the urban jungles of Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> My studio. You can hear a little hammering, you know, doing some work a little bit down. It's like this canyon back here. It's like these three, there's three apartments in each building. You go a long ways. It's like a jungle. It's amazing. But also, like, the sounds I notice are kind of magnified, you know. Um, and let's see, we've got the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck here going on today to let you know. Um, in your heart spread, read is for the end of November time frame here guys this is up for who's on your mind who's in your heart King of Cups you got uh, Jim Morrison King of Cups I call it doesn't that kind of look like Jim Morrison there <laughs> church bell you can just hear it uh, under the hammering it but I like it's kind of my favorite card got the Pisces on there too it brings in some flavor to this uh, guys but that is you gotta tell me that's is that not the mellowest king you've ever seen like in any deck I don't know it's hard to get any mellower than that right there so we're looking at your energy here hmm Scorpio is coming in with the ace of cups check it out now this is where you're at in terms of love and relationship where your mind is at where your heart is at let me just look at your other person before I say anything. They're coming in with the Page of Swords. Hmm. Let me check out that Page of Swords. They're coming in, and it's kind of moving into the reading. Um, but there's a just, I'd say, an immature energy to it. And kind of a, I don't know, it's a little lackadaisical. It's not exactly meeting your Ace of Cups. I mean... Ace of Cups is like, if, if I detach this from the relationship for a moment and think of it as just you, it's someone that's primed and ready to love, you know. This is someone whose heart is open, they're, they're basically ready for love, you know, um, in a big way. And with an Ace of Cups, it's like the energy becomes so big there that it kind of sucks in the relationship. It's, it's hard to not read this Ace of Cups separate from the relationship whatever person you're thinking of what the one that's got your heart and that's going to be somehow this page of swords here now ace beats this page so this is still someone younger than you even if you're young they're younger than you and if not younger than you then be like clearly less mature i sense a lack of maturity i mean it could even be like with your person a lack of direction a lack of maturity I mean, it's to the point where you could say, someone might say, like a friend, they might say, hey, you know, you're, you're an adult, uh, Scorpio, and you're capable of having an adult relationship, marriage, family, whatever you want. Um, your person uh, is playing skip rope in the playground right now, and uh, that's kind of that energy I'm getting, guys, to start out. Now... <sighs> Let's see where it goes, though. Now, this is how you're feeling towards them. Well, this is very interesting to me. I'm not 100%. Um, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups. And this is how you feel about them. Just how do they make you feel? You look at them very self-satisfying. I can't say it's bad if somebody leaves you in the Nine of Cups energy. But I can't help thinking of it. Um, let me just get a clarifier, spirit. <laughs> yeah. So here's the thing with justice. Okay. You're, it, the way you're feeling about them is, oh, shit, here we go again. And it's big, um, emotional. Like, dear, now, it, it could be the same person in a redo. It could be in your mind go, oh my God, this is a redo of that. Because maybe you have some awareness of the deep emotional ramifications of this past relationship here. Um, but this is like you, uh, in this energy of how you're relating to them. I wouldn't say it's fear. Um, you know, um, with justice here, you could say there's going to be a karma involved. Um, you may have Libra energy in your chart, too, that this speaks to. Libra just uh, was a big transit there with Mars and Venus this last month. 
Um, so there's something in the way you're feeling about them that's really triggering you. And you might also as well feel like somehow um, there's a, something karmic going on. And right now I just have this person over here with the mellowest king, Jim Morrison King Cups overriding this reading. Spirit, help me here. Oh, we got, we get the five of wands, a shuffle the fuck too. It's very prominent last time, but not in this position. But so this is your person um, uh, literally fighting you uh, with wands could be actions. It's hard for me to read dangerous energy into this. Like, oh my God, you need a restraining order. But it would be, it, I see this so much as bickering and arguing. As I just got through saying in the other reading, uh, it was in the number one position. And this is someone that's going to be relating to you by bickering and arguing. And that typically belies something deeper underneath of it um, that they somehow don't want to deal with. You have this page of swords. You see, they're kind of coming into the reading, but not really. It's like tra la la, and they're kind of looking behind. There's obviously something from the past, okay? And now, I mean, I think I could say that with Justice and the Nine of Cups, I don't want to say they're triggering the fuck out of you, but I'm saying, like, fuck, this is so karmic. And there's something about the way it's going down, the way you feel about them. I'm a Cancer Moon, it's all about how I feel about them. It's almost not about them, I have to say. But, you know, it's how do they make me feel, and that's how I'm going to read the relationship, you know, the most deeply. And you're coming in with the Ace of Cups, so that's with a lot of feeling here. So you are just feeling like there's something going on here with this person. And, I mean, they're resisting. Also, it's exactly the energy of if you say, listen, we're twin flames, honey. And you say to them, Scorpio, you know, I'm the activator, you're the sleeper, come on, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me just say this about Twin Flames. Here you go. <laughs> this is how they're supposed to work. They're not supposed to be fun. That's why I went for a life partner, okay? Soul makes it bad enough, guys. Gets old. You may be a little bit younger here. Two of Wands. This is your advice from Spirit regarding this person here, Scorpio. I'm going to tell you what. I got to read that like this. Keep your options open. Don't commit. That's how that's playing. Wow. This is the advice to your person how to relate to you now, Scorpio. And now I don't, I totally see this. Spirit is advising them. If you have a cross watcher here, uh, if you want to share this with them, if it resonates with you otherwise, Scorpio. Um, and their advice is to uh, approach you like the Queen of Cups, you know, with, actually with respect. You do have the Ten of Cups with the Ace of Cups and the Nine of Cups coming into this. And Justice, you know. And you have the advice from Spirit being to keep your options open. And this advice to your person is clearly, you need to, you need to stand up, stand out, get into your strong place, be emotionally whole and connected and honest and open and available and get in the game. This is uh, serious here. I told you this person kind of immature. This is like adulting energy. I hate to use that word. But, you know, adulting. It's like this person needs to adult now. Um, and, and that energy is kind of ringing their bell. It's reminding them this is what they could become. You know, your person uh, here, Scorpio, may be another water sign when it's all said and done. Maybe they don't act like it because they're acting so immature. They're expressing more of the low vibrational energy that they have. Um, but doesn't mean they always will and uh, relationships here as you, you know your justice might be implying just how it, it goes but it may be you take a pass because they're too immature and that it rings their bell as a wake up call for them and they grow from that you know and you learn something too let's see where this goes now the advice of spirit is son this is for the relationship as a whole now and the crux of the heart spread Part of me, and I don't know if this is completely egotistical, but it's like spirit, because I pulled it out as just as I was finishing my what I was saying, uh, and it's like, yes, 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 yes. Uh, because it shines enlightenment on the relationship. 
it doesn't mean the relationship is blessed or anything. It means that you see what's going on in this relationship. And it's kind of a response to what I said, because it happened right as I was saying it. And that, yes, 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 this is what's happening. You know, for them, it's going to be a big wake-up call. Keep in mind, these things can go to the timeless place of the astral train. And they don't wake up from this wake-up call, like, right away. It could be years down the road. But this adds to something, and then one day, and then, then, then they think of this, and, they, and then things click. But, but this could be the linchpin that makes that all happen, um, even if it's years uh, distant, right? So let's see what the outcome is here. Ace of Swords. Yeah. I think this is you really asserting your independence in this relationship. And believe me, I hate to go this way in the reading here. But I'm picking up on your energies. What I'm trying to do, Scorpio. And uh, I just feel like uh, this is not a start. This is a... I mean, the only possible way this could be, even the relationship continuing... Do have the sun there? Is this is a hard ultimatum, and I mean this is the kind of ultimatum like stop screwing other people, stop doing heroin, stop, and it's a it's a hard way to start a relationship. And you know I'll tell you this though it's the perfect fucking way to end the relationship with the Ace of Swords, and it, you end the relationship with the Ace of Swords. That's what I see with this. But you always learn. You always learn. There's the heart. So thank you guys. Wasn't a cheery, huggy, dovey reading, but uh, see it in your heart. Can you like, thumbs up, do comment. That helps the channel. If you can think of anywhere to share this, Scorpios, um, please do. Any uh, platform to help me out. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell. Remember, Thursdays, always Thursdays, are uh, Libra and Scorpio days.